feels good to be back. I mean, there is no reason for me to be nervous or anything. It's not like I'm doing this for the first time. I'm just doing this after a very long time. I'm totally not. Macro photography. Macro photography is probably one of those one of those styles which is pretty creative. It's really interesting because it gives like a different perspective and it's pretty creative to do. And not only that, it's actually really simple to do, especially when you're all indoors because we cannot go outside and explore. So it's a really great and fun technique to try out when you're staying indoors and it's just a fun thing to explore. So, I'm going to talk about macro and how you can shoot it without using those expensive macro lenses because they are available, yeah, they are there, but um, they're not that cheap. Even if you have like a kit lens with you, you can like use that to shoot macro. So, let's talk about the first thing your equipment. So, basically, you need a DSLR camera for it, and if any DSLR works, and you need a lens, a kit lens, like I told you. Uh, I'm using an 855. So basically, what we have to do, the first thing we have to do is set uh, set the settings. Uh, now, because macro uses like a ton of light, if you have flash, that works great. But if you don't have, that's fine. We need to compound ISO around 800 or 1000, depending on the light you have. If you have flash, you can like lower it. But if you don't have it, you have to pop it up. Next, a shutter speed. Again, keep it around 1, one uh, by 100 to 1 by 200. I would suggest not go below 1 by 100 because when we are macro, when we are that you know, close, when we are that zoomed in, even the slight jitters can be like, they'll be amped up. And we don't want that. Uh, we don't want our shots to be blurry because of motion blur. Uh, next is our aperture. If you're using a kit lens, obviously you can you cannot like open that wide but you can at least go to the lowest available aperture in my kit lens 3.5 in your kit lens may vary choose the lowest aperture obviously if you're uh, using something like the 70 to 200 uh, then it's 5.6 and that's like pretty tight but uh, you have to pop up the eyes you can keep it around 1000 uh, or even like uh, 1200 in some cases depends on the camera because we don't want grain so that's it. Once you're done with the settings, I suggest you shoot raw because it gives us more flexibility while we're editing. But Chibi works fine too. Next, uh, we're gonna take our lens and take our lens and uh, reverse it. Yes, I know it sounds a bit weird like reverse it? Are you sure I should be doing it? Yeah, just don't switch off your camera, keep it on, uh, take your lens out and uh, reverse it. Yeah, now you have your own macro lens. You have used your 1855 kit lens as a macro lens, and it will give amazing results. Now, let's talk about the second part that is your lights. Now, you can use a flash, that works fine. I'm, I'm using these video lights because I don't have these, but yeah, if you don't have a video light, a flash, your mobile torch works great. I mean, I'll show you this photograph. This photograph that you're seeing on your screen was shot using just my mobile. I used my mobile torch to light um, the leaf from below, and because the leaves are translucent, it uh, it works pretty well. If you have, uh, if you don't have the lights, if you don't have the lights, basically you can use sun, and uh, sun works really well. If you have a window for making it sunlight, in, uh, it works pretty well too. That is the two basic parts of macro photography. You need uh, your reverse lens and uh, and you need light, a ton of light. Once you have these two, you are pretty much set to shoot. Third part, your subject, your setup. So basically, what I suggest is choose like a table or anything where you can like, place your object, uh, insect, leaves paper and anything works like this is completely up to you it's up to your creativity what you want to shoot how you want to shoot it anything with texture works really well 
like uh, your old jackets, uh, your sweaters, uh, even the wooden flooring for that matter, your rocks, stones, uh, leaves, flowers work all well. Textures, patterns, you can like, uh, get close in and it look really good. So yeah, that was it and uh, I'll try to upload more videos. I am not going to like, promise like it's going to be a weekly or daily but I'll try to upload more videos as much as I can and uh, yeah stay inside and be creative with it and uh, if you shoot any macro shots then be sure to tag me on Instagram it's zero.thunker be sure to tag me and uh, yeah see you in the next video